it's time to get your spook on. The best time of the year is back. It is monster cereal time. We all love monster cereal, especially if you're Gen X. That's what we grew up with. Count Chocula, Booberry, Frankenberry, Yummy Mummy, Fruit Bro, Fruit Bro is his name, I think. Which was your favorite? I'm I'm a Booberry fan. When I was a kid, I was a Count Chocula fan, but now I'm a Booberry fan. And I usually get a box every year. But this year, there was something special on the cereal aisle. This year, it's called Monster Mash. And here we have all of our favorite monsters hanging out and jamming in one box. And it's a, incredible because they brought back Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy. And we have not seen Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute since... I think the last time we saw them might have been very early 90s or late 80s. We have not seen these guys in a long, long time. I remember the uh, commercials for Fruit Brute used to go, Fruit! <laughs> he, would, he would howl like, Fruit! <laughs> anyway, you didn't need to know, you didn't need to see me to do that. Um, oh, here. Over here, they have the history of the guys. Let's see. 1971, when I was born. Count Chocula and Frankenberry step onto the scene. So Count Chocula and Frankenberry are 50 years old. <sighs> that makes me, geez Louise, yeah. Um, 1972, Booberry turns the monster duo into a trio. In 1974, Fruit Brute joins the group. And in 1988, Yummy Mummy rounds up the lineup. So I was kind of right. I said late 80s, very early 90s. Um, 2021, after 50 years on the scene, the monsters reunite to mash. I wonder if we're going to get all of them in there. No, it actually says on the front, artificially berry flavored cereal, which kind of makes sense because all of these guys are berry flavored except Count Chocula. He is the odd man out. And I don't really think that Count Chocula, sorry for all you Count Chocula fans, I don't think that that would actually go with all the other berry flavors. If you want to try that, go get all of them at home and mix them yourself in a bowl. That would be fun. But I am ready to get into this and try this cereal. It's going to be my lunch. <laughs> so I'm not going to eat a whole lot because I don't want to load up on sugar for my lunch. But... I'm going to get a, get a bowl and some milk and we'll be back. Okay, I am committing the cardinal sin for cereal lovers. I have poured the milk in the bowl first, which is, ugh, that is just, oh my gosh, that's like putting your toilet paper to roll under instead of over. Ugh, it gives me the chills. Anyway, the reason why is because it's hard to bring a whole jug of milk in the living room. So let's open this up and get some cereal. If you are very good, you may have a piece. Okay. When you first open it, you do get that berry smell. It smells very good. See what I did there? I'm so lame. <laughs> I'm full of bad jokes. Anyway, it does. It smells really good. Okay, color-wise, we do have some dark pieces that look like Count Chocula color. So color-wise, he wasn't really left out, which is good. And then we have like Frankenberry color. You can see Frankenberry marshmallows. Um, that's going to be Fruit marshmallows. And the Mummy marshmallows. So we have, I think, pretty much all the characters represented in the marshmallow. Yeah, there's Count Chocula's little bat, right? Here's the mummy. So we have all of the monsters represented in the marshmallows. There does look like there is a good marshmallow to cereal ratio. So I'm going to take a bite and see. Um, I am, since some people are sensitive to the sounds of chewing, I'm going to take a bite and then I'm going to cut to where after I've chewed it up so that you don't have to watch me eat or listen to me eat. Hmm? Okay, it is very good. It is very delicious, but it is very, very sweet. I, I didn't mean to say berry twice. I was being funny the first time. 
and then accidentally just said it the second time. <laughs> it is very sweet. It's very sugary. Wow. I don't normally eat sugary cereal much um, anymore. Um, I'm going to finish eating this because this is my lunch. And in my cereal review fashion, I'm going to let you know on a scale of one to five how bad this tears up the roof of your mouth. So I will come back and let you know. Okay, I'm back. I just finished everything that I poured. And I have to say, on a scale of one to five of how bad it tore up my mouth, I'm gonna give it a three. I still have skin. I didn't lose any skin off the roof of my mouth. Um, and I had about half a bowl. This is a pretty deep, It's this is a deceptively deep bowl. Um, so I had a decent amount. Now it's probably about a third. If I would have eaten a massive bowl, I would have no skin on the roof of my mouth. But I, I'm gonna give this a three. Um, so it's it's not that bad. Um, if you eat a big bowl every day, yeah, you're gonna have a sore mouth for a while. Okay. Okay. When I was looking at the um, marshmallows, I thought they were all represented, but then looking on the box. I think Booberry got the disc. If you look here, we have the two cereal pieces on the ends. We have Frankenberry, Count Chocula, Yummy Mummy, and then this is a like a footprint for Fruit Brood. So Count Chocula got the disc flavor wise, but got his bat. Booberry got flavor, but did not get a marshmallow. And that's okay. It evens things out and gives everybody a chance to have a little something something in there. So I'm good with that. Here's the back of the box. And at the end, I will show you the nutritional information. And I'll tell you some too. Um, calories are 160 for one and one third cup, which is a pretty good, good size. Um, we'll t we talked about, the, if you watch my Ghostbuster cereal review, most people don't drink skim milk, so I'm not going to read off the calories for with skim milk. Um, most kids, if if kids are eating it, most kids prefer whole milk. Um, and normally, I actually had it with whole milk this time. Normally, I'm eating it with almond milk, so you're just going to have to adjust your calories to whatever milk you're actually consuming this with. And... I will reiterate, like I did in my um, Ghostbuster cereal review, this is not a child's cereal. Kids can eat it, yes, but I don't believe that fun, sugary cereals are for kids. I think everybody, no matter what your age, can enjoy a fun, sugary, naughty, nostalgic cereal from time to time. So, this is, this is an everybody experience. Okay, I can't read. Um, 35 carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, which means that's gonna put the carbs, I believe, at 33 grams. Um, total sugars is 11, is 11 grams, and included added sugar is 11 grams. Now, I have to say, for one and one thirds a cup, 11 grams of sugar really isn't bad. There are some, I won't say the name, but there are some round, heart healthy cereals that can get up to 12 grams or more of sugar. So actually you can indulge in this and not really feel bad. And I am here for that. Oh, scan to hear the mesh. Oh, okay. I can't do it because I, I was, there's a QR code so you can scan to hear the mesh. But if it's the actual Monster Mash song, I can't play that for you anyway. So I'm sorry about that. But I do encourage you. Here, let me give you a picture. If you want to scan this, scan that on your phone and go and listen for yourself. But I do encourage you to go get your own box. Seriously. Look at how fun. And they are all having a blast, guys. That is nostalgic goodness in a box right there. Um, I'm giving this two spoons up. Eh, eh, I've only got one spoon out here. <laughs> I'm giving this two spoons up, seriously. I think that this is, it's fun, you know? Sorry about the weird edit. I got a phone call, so I just wanted to come back 
and just close this out and say, you know what, go to your local store and see if they're carrying this. Uh, Walmart's supposed to be carrying it. My husband found this at our local grocery store. But <laughs> treat yourself. Go get you a nice bowl of nostalgia because this was fantastic. It was really good. I mean, it, the rest of this box is not going to last past probably, it'll be gone by tomorrow to be honest. It's not a huge box. Like the Ghostbuster cereal was a family size, so it was like huge. But this is a regular box of cereal, so it won't take you that long to go through if you just want like a small treat. Um, if this deviates off of, you know, what you normally eat. Uh, then you don't have to feel guilty because like I said, the, the amount of sugar in here, I'm not saying this is a healthy cereal, but I'm saying the amount of sugar is actually less than some healthy cereals that are on the market. So you don't have to feel guilty going and getting this at all. Go get your Monster Mash on seriously and have some fun with your breakfast. Life is too short to be serious. And this is Laura. Thanks for watching Vlog Soup and I will see you next time. Stay spooky, my friends. Goodbye.